Okay, so let's long story <laughs> short. Okay, give me the long story no, short. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Like I didn't really have no deal at that time. Like I was out of the whole SRC university deal and I had a song called Holla at a Player. And it was like getting a lot of radio spin, like a lot of club spin. But at the same time I didn't have no deal. Like this is the first time I had a really record and I didn't really have no label back. So at the same time I didn't really know how to get the record hot or how to keep it going, but I knew I needed to keep it going because after that it wasn't really no nothing else going on. <laughs> I was going to the club, I was performing from the DJ booth, I was doing promos, I was just trying to do anything to keep the record going. And after a while, you know, the record kind of died down. And I was like, I need a way to, I just really need a way to keep it going while I don't got a deal so I can figure something out. So I hollered at Wayne, and I got a lot of pride. So, you know, as a rapper, we got our pride sometimes. So you, you might need help, but you don't want to ask for it, and you don't want to accept it. But I was at a point where it's like, man, I need it. So I hollered at him. And I had got him on Bring It Back, leaving to me and Fab, like, probably a year or two before that. So I said, let me just take a shot in the dark. So I didn't even have his number. I sent him an email. On the email, I had sent him the record to that time a year ago. And it just happened to be the same thing. So he replied back. He was like, nah, cool, send it to me. So I sent it to him. He sent it back. So when he sent it back, I was just like, Take another shot in the dark, <laughs> you know. I ain't got no deal, so the most he can tell me is no or turn me down. But I'm already down out of luck, so I'm just like whatever. So I was like, when the next time you gonna be in New York? And this is way before the, the <laughs> anything, the case, anything. He was just like, I don't know when I'm coming to New York. I don't like New York. They always, you know, they always mess with me when I come up there. Right. So I'm like, well, I need to talk to you about something. He was like, what you need to talk about? But, you know, we can just talk about it now. So it's like, all right, that's the moment of truth. You might as well just come clean. I'm like, well, I ain't got no deal. You know, I want to holler at you, said we can figure something out business wise. I never forget that. He said, you ain't got no deal. He's like, so hold on, you ain't signed to nobody? I'm like, nah, I ain't got no deal. I'm out of my contract, bro. That's what I see. So he said, what? He said, when could you get on a flight? <laughs> so I was like, a flight to where? He's like, Miami. I was like, I get on a flight yesterday. Like, just to let him know, like, that's how, that's where I'm at with it right now. He's like, all right. Call you back in a little while. He had his assistant call me back in like five minutes with a one-way ticket. Wow. Like tomorrow. Not not even like a couple days, like we need you here tomorrow. And I remember as soon as I got off the plane, shout out to Taz, Taz and CJ. They picked me up from the plane, took me right to the studio where he was at. No hotel, no nothing. Took me straight to the studio. Me and him went in the room. We had one conversation. He said, listen, man, I ain't really going to try to throw no paperwork in your face, no lawyers, whatever. I just want to have a conversation with you and let you know what I'm trying to do. If you with it, let me know what you're trying to do. We had a conversation and a handshake after that. We just rocked out. Like, I just did my paperwork really, like, the end of last year. All of that time, I was just rocking with it. Like, it, we was all, like, all of us was just rocking with it. We really just all did our paperwork just, like, loyalty-wise. So just on the strength that he was rocking with me like that, I just felt like it's only right to sign to the label. Like, not come out with the We Are Young Money album and then sign the Death Jam or... Right. Go sign the Interscope. That ain't no loyalty. That ain't real. Like he wrote it out with me, so I rock that one. And that's why he has on the free little Wayne. Yeah, I'm repping. I'm repping, <laughs> I'm repping, man. I'm repping for my homie, man. Free Weezy all day. Oh, that's what's up. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm so proud. You can tell, like you, you, you're, you're calm. You're not on, cool. on. You're, you're not on your right? <laughs> <laughs> on edge anymore. I'm sure at that point. Nah. I know how it is when you get to that point. It get, it, and it got to a point where it was nasty. Like I'm not even gonna lie. It got to a point where I was waking up. And I was in my mom's crib, and I'm just like. What is going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need a haircut. You only got money for a haircut, though. Like, you got to ask your barber for a favor. Like, like, I literally know what that is like. Like, I know what it's like to have your video come on TV and you laying in the crib watching it. Twisted. Nobody don't know that, though. I know. Like, I, really, I literally know what all that is like. So, for me to, like, like, not live in the hood no more. Like, I own my car. Like, it's my crib. Like, like we tour the world. Like, like I got awards in my house, like BT awards, like ASCAP awards, just, like just stuff like I never had that before. 
when, not even when I was battling, I just mean when I was no, 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 and when it was my swag, when it was bring it back, when it was who, like it was just records. And those was literally just records. Like I literally didn't really see like a big ass cap check until every girl in the world, just to be real with you. And I only got eight bars on that record. That's not like a, 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 a best I ever had or a lollipop or something like that where the whole record is mine. That's just, we got eight bars on that record. That's crazy. And we all came off good. And literally, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. We didn't have to come off good. Wayne could have just been reckless and just took a bunch of points. He cut back on his points so all the artists could eat on those records. That's nice. crazy. And he dirt rich. He don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? But and when you really think about it, that's just that's just real right there. That's you know the saying? whole that's the family artists. concept. Like yeah, it. that's that's real, man. So you gotta ride it out with somebody who treats you like that business wise in 2010. Like, like we both been around for a while and we know what this business is like. So for you to be able to get fair business in 2010. There's no reason to go against that. Absolutely. At all. Well, congratulations on, on the good business, the good money, yeah. the young money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk about where you're going, like, because you, 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 you're bring me up to speed. So now we got to talk the future. And of course, um, you got a band. I hope you're prepared to yeah. ban something. Can't wait. Listen, a person, place, a thing, you can get as deep or as shallow. It's all good. It's all I you. I ain't going to go too crazy, but I definitely got somebody that's about to. Wow! Ah, keep it locked, y'all. It's going down. Jay Mills is in the building. We sexy in the city. It's a band Monday and it's power.